Digital Slang, welcome back. Today, the OnePlus Buds Z in white. We're gonna check them out. Now, not a full review right now. I did just pick these up, so quick unboxing. I'll show you what came in the box, and we're gonna do a first impressions. We're gonna go through everything, and then I'll come back in a couple weeks with my full review. But right now, I just wanna check out, you saw the quick unboxing in the beginning of the video. Now, quick disclaimer, I did buy these with my own money. So just be aware, this is not a sponsored video, paid review, or anything like that. Let's just see what else came in the box. USB Type-C to charge. Extra silicone tips, which I will be changing these out for the bigger pair to get that good seal. And the box. And the paperwork, which we don't care about that. The buds themselves, again, this is the white version. It also does come in a Steve Harrington edition. So only two options as far as colorways. And I'm not sure how long that limited edition run will be around, but they do look pretty cool, a little different. These are white. And if you take a look at the case, it actually reminds you of the Buds Plus case. We do have the OnePlus branding on top. One LED light here on the front and USB Type-C on the back with a reset button as well. If we open these up, you can see we do have the stem style design with touch controls and we'll talk about all that as we get into it bluetooth 5.0 battery life on here is around five hours with 20 total with the charging case and these are ip55 water and sweat resistant not waterproof but they are sweat resistant so you can run in them you can work out with them do whatever you would like and again the stem design so we'll do a mic test as we get into it but the call quality on here should be really good. I like the stem design. The look I'm okay with, but the call quality, and usually it does allow us to get a better mic. So hopefully this is the case with that. It does kind of remind you of the AirPods just a little bit because of the design. So we'll check it out. 10 millimeter dynamic drivers in here. These are supposed to be a little bass heavy. We'll check that out. I have not heard these or listened to these yet. So when we do a sound test, you will see my first impression. So I am excited about that because these are supposed to sound really good. They also support fast charging. A 10 minute charge will get you three hours of battery life. And there is a low latency mode for gaming. You don't have to go into it. It just comes standard on here. So gaming, you should be okay. Watching content should be okay. Netflix, YouTube, whatever you want. There shouldn't be any latency, any delay when listening to content, but we'll check that out as we test it. And this also does come with a high melody app which it's a basic app, very basic. I'll show you the app, but there is not much you can do with it. It's basically showing you the power percentages and allowing you to customize your touch controls. And I say that very lightly. Touch controls on here are just okay. We'll get into a price on these again, 50 bucks. Let's check them out. I'll show you the app, we'll connect them and we'll go from there. So of course to connect, you can connect on iPhones or Android. Just be aware right now that the Hey Melody app, and that's the name of the app, the Hey Melody app is only available on Android devices, not on iPhones. So you wanna go into your Bluetooth settings first on your Android device and connect them that way through Bluetooth, and that's how you're gonna connect on an iPhone as well. Once you are connected through Bluetooth on your phone, you're gonna open up the Hey Melody app, and you can come in to the Hey Melody app, and it will recognize your Buds Z. There are a couple different options for a couple different pairs of earbuds inside of the app. Let me lower the brightness a little bit. Maybe it'll come across better on the camera. So there you can see a little bit better. If there is a firmware update, this is where you would go. You do have some battery percentages right here. And that's about it. There's not much else you can do in here. You do have some earbud controls. You can go in and just change your double tap. Now I have not even tested the double tap on here. I haven't heard these at all yet. We will go in, but from what it looks like, first impression, touch controls on here are going to be, be very basic, like double tap and double tap only. We'll try that out, but in here, double tap, you can change it. Your left right now, I have it on next track, and your right, I have it on play and pause, and it doesn't look like there's any volume control unless it's already built into the touch controls, but we'll try that out. Right now, I'm gonna throw them in my ear, we're gonna bounce out of this app. I'm gonna play some music and I wanna hear how they sound. So 
sound quality on these things. Look, the $50 pair of earbuds, the, that market right there is so impressive right now. The competition is getting real. So much competition all around in the $40, $50, $60 price range. And these are just throwing their hat into the mix. These sound really good. There's some bass. The highs and the mids sound good. I got no problems with them for the price. Of course, there are plenty of earbuds that sound better than these, but at 50 bucks, you can't beat it. So we're going to keep going. I'm going to do a mic test. Check out the mic. Guys, this is the mic test. The OnePlus Buds Z in white. Their newest $50 pair of earbuds. Stem design, in-ear style. True wireless earbuds. Let me know how the mic sounds. Real quick, I just want to mention you can use one at a time. And there is also in-ear detection. So if I am listening to music, I take one out of my ear. It will pause automatically. Put it back in. It will start to play. And it works very well. Instant, to be honest. So very impressive there. They've done a good job with that. Now, let's talk about latency. No latency. There is a built-in low latency mode on here. And listening to content on your iPhone, your Android device, whatever device you're using, your OnePlus device, no delay between audio and video. And watching content on here, it seems like it will be a very enjoyable experience. So just be aware you're good to go, whether you are playing a game or just watching content, you should be good to go. Now, we're gonna talk about the touch controls. And so far, this is going to be my one gripe about these earbuds. Right off the bat, you gotta give me more touch controls than what these have. So. Out of the box, it's double tap only. And that's it, that's all you have. Double tap only is next track on both the left and the right earbud out of the box. Now in the app, the Hey Melody app, which is only available on Android devices, you can change it up a little bit. And right now I do have the touch control set to play and pause on the right ear and next track on the left ear. And that's all you can do. There's no volume control you can set it to either summon your Google Assistant or your, and remember, only Google Assistant because you can't use the map, the app on an iPhone right now. So Google Assistant, you can set it to, which is still a double tap, or next track in the right earbud, previous track on the left earbud, or play and pause, and that's it. There are no other touch controls. So that is, it's just weird to me. Like, I don't know, I don't know why, companies would do that like touch controls for me let me know how you feel guys down in the comments below but touch controls for me are very important like the whole point of wireless earbuds is to give me the hands-free experience and when i have to keep going back to my phone it kind of ruins it for me so double tap only out of the box for a 50 dollars pair of earbuds we are in a better place than that right now the competition as i said earlier is fierce right now so the fact that one, there's an app. You should give me more in the app. Allow me to have more functions. Like, why not a single tap or a triple tap? Like, tons and tons of earbuds have it. I test a lot of earbuds on this channel. And you guys see, every earbud now has those types of controls on them. Why OnePlus comes out with a double tap only feature, I don't know. I'm clueless to why, it, why it's there and why it is the way it is. But overall, look, even saying that, 50 bucks, they sound good. They're a good solid pair of earbuds for the price. But that's really it, guys. OnePlus, the OnePlus Buds Z, good battery life, good sound, budget friendly, right? 50 bucks, not bad for what you get. Let me know how the mic sounds. The only thing that I'm just kind of weirded out by is the touch controls. It's just weird to me that a company would do that because they have given us a lot here with what is here. They just kind of excluded one of the most important things to me. Now, let me know what you guys think. The OnePlus, their new earbuds, their new wireless earbuds, two colorways. That's it. I'll be back soon. Peace.